Slaves pick and cocoa off a plant down in Ghana. Slaves Nestle got a good deal on the farm. Yeah, slaves mining cobalt in a pit in the Congo. Slaves making environmentally friendly cars go. Slaves on the highway trying not to get hit. In Alabama, in on jumpsuits picking up and I'm shit. Slaves in plain sight in the U.S. of A. Slaves, well, at least they let them out for the day. Slaves sewing gussets in a factory. Slaves making clothes for you and me. Slaves never quit cause they're so damn afraid. Yeah, in the Amazon warehouse out in Saudi Arabia. Slaves, if you don't get that chicken, gut it's that. Cargill sending your child slave ass back home on a raft. Every corporation's got some blood on its hands. Now I've got blood on my phone and blood on my pants. The dollar bill's a killer, she's bigger than man. It ain't never felt better to be American slaves. Nah, they don't compose music for you. <laughs> this guy is composed music for Ghana now, right? Uh, when Ghana sleep and all those things come from, now he's composing music for you. I hope you enjoyed the music he composed for you and you follow and singing it. I hope you share the video to more people to consume it or if you are a content creator, you have to distribute the music. <laughs> How you take no in now? You see, mean the white people are reading Ghana history now. They are busy reading the history. They are busy knowing where the sleep come from. Mm. Now, it's composing music for Ghana. <laughs> How is this guy sing the music and release it? Now, you can say this music will go everywhere. We're almost taking over. All right. Then, let's watch it. So, what do we do with Tukani? Hey, I don't know why I'm a mini. I'm a mini. Hmm, you're from Canada. Now, where are you? Now, you're a citizen. Oh, where are you? Oh, yeah, 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 Ah, okay, okay, me dipa. Did you? Hmm. You back to Canada? Oh. Okay. I'm going to dipa. Hmm. No, my mother and I are coming here. I think to Canada. I'm going to go in for my career. Oh, there, there, there. So, but we're not in the same way. I come in. I come in media. It's me. Oh. I said that. I'm going to make. Eh. So, but we're not in the same way. I'm going to say. Hmm. As as you see that. People will be wondering, ah, why this white colors are just uh, uh, like uh, interesting and they are practice everything about Ghana. People will be wondering, and they are promoting it. You'll be wondering, you'll be asking yourself, why this white color or this, uh, uh, you know, Apilo, you know, the Apilo, Apilo is different than uh, uh, my Nigeria people here. Uh, you could imagine see why uh, white color, they are just. They are going deep. This one, there they is natural love in it. Not be like other one, where did they fake Nigeria? You know, see, when you watch Nigeria, you see a lot of white people. They are faking Nigeria. You know, they call fake. But Ghana, oh, it's natural. If you think I'm lying, you, you know. If you talk to, just be honest. White people say who they show love to Nigeria. Majority of them are faking it. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You know. I'm not compared. This one is not about comparing it to it. They are only be fake. They are faking it. But these people own the one. The one for Ghana own. It be like it be real, be natural. There's nothing fake there. You they see them now. They see them say there's no fake there. They do the faking it. Okay, so they don't do anything. Say they want to give you no. They are like it's something that it is free them. Say they be proud and they think they enter their their their, their body inside. They, they 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 you know you know what I mean. They don't be faking it. Hmm? No, and the majority of them from the not they like they are proud say they are the white now. Some of them will get white where they are Ghanaian, where they are proud say they are Ghanaian. They be coming out like if you read natural, just like as we now, we the black now, we did Nigerian, where we did and especially like me now. We they show the love now, you know the fake. 
me say where I go be Nigerians if I see them like there's nothing fake about it. I know they try, you know they be fake, but when Nigerians say they, 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 they think they do this on way be, we see they pain them. <laughs> it depends, so you don't know, understand. Why this video? Ghanaians are the friendliest people you'll meet on earth. Really. People say Africans are friendly. Ghana is sort of the epitome of friendly Africa. There's this saying that if you really want to experience Africa, you have to visit Africa and experience Africa for yourself. And this video exemplifies it. This is an American missionary who visited Ghana in 2018 and he's excitingly or happily sharing his experience in Ghana, especially with the people of Ashanti region. So he's basically talking about um, how he felt in Ghana, our food, our culture, our way of life, and how Kenyans are very hospitable. I would like you to pay attention to whatever he said in the video. And at the end of the video, you'll be able to tell whether the lies that they peddle about Africa or Kenyans are really true. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vix. Let us move. Ghana is so different from home. And animals everywhere, and just farmland, and jungles, and palm trees, and the beach, and everything was just very different. We got on the bus. I remember being so tired, but I couldn't sleep because just looking out the window and seeing everything, and we would just drive from village to village. But like in between villages was just dense jungle. <laughs> like you I think about last two months ago, this video don't uh, I bring the awareness, I put this video, and since then people see people started viral the video again. The video go viral. This video is one this man's video eh? it's more than eight years now. I think it's more than eight years. And on Steam, somebody said to me, I bring the video come back and the experience of the man and I post it. Uh since then this video has been going viral. A lot of people have been reacting to it, people have been downloading it, people have been taking it, people have been reacting to it. And that is what we need. When people do a wish you bring their knowledge in. That's what I was doing. I bring the knowledge and a lot of people, a lot of Ghanaians said they jump on again to revise the video. People revise the video, they jump on, on this video and they revise it. Yes. And, and even some say begin doing as I do the video, the way I'm doing the white people video, some content creator too started reacting like that. How me I do my tummy, exactly of my tummy and everything. People started doing like that. We started, yeah, because we should publish what is good. We should also make these people knowledge they 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 are, they are experienced that uh, you see the man. You say you can move in Ghana. You are free and true. Not so. You can drive in Ghana safe. I hope you understand. I'll I'll bring in more video about them. I'll, I'll start bringing more video about them because I want I want to see people reacting to their video. I want to see more people react to those white people in video because I'll be bringing more video about them. For people to react it, to do reaction video towards their video, you should make their video go viral instead of some people will come, especially now. Some people will come and say, hey, Ghana is this, Ghana is that. Ghana is not like that. Ghana is not what you see. Ghana is the best place to live. Ghana is, I would like to you, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to tell you the facts. Ghana is the best place on Africa. Ghana is the country you will go to and you are, you are, I'm not saying that people are not suffering in Ghana, it's not what I mean. I'm not saying that people are not going through hardship in Ghana, that's not what I mean. I hope you understand. People are going through hardship, but when you come for you as a foreigner, you are safe. In Ghana, you are safe. Honestly, you are safe. That's what I mean. People are suffering, but you as a foreigner come to Ghana, Ghanaians will not use their frustration towards you when you are not doing, when you, when you are doing the right thing. You are safe. That's what I mean. God bless everybody. My name is Master Manager Nigerian. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you're coming behind, if you want to reach out to me, look at my bio. My WhatsApp number is there. Reach out to me and tell me what you have to tell me. God bless you and bye bye for now.